Surgical school is important from our point of view because when we see the patients in clinic, we spend most of our time talking about their, their disease and what we're going to do to treat it. But there are a lot of things that patients need to know about, how they manage themselves directly after the operation and also what they do when they get home. And that's where the surgical school is really important. So the surgeon sits here in the console, he operates the robot but he doesn't actually have to touch you. So this is where I stand, or one of the registrars, um, when we operate. The main purpose of a surgical school is to get patients better prepared to have their prostate surgery and to know what to expect. I had robotic surgery and was very impressed by the treatment I received at Westmoreland Street, part of University College Hospital. You can read a lot about these things in leaflets and there's a myriad of information, but I think going along to surgery school gives you the opportunity to see how it's going to affect you. And the reason why we ask you to have lots of protein after surgery, your body needs to start repairing itself. In order for it to repair itself, it needs protein. It's an opportunity to ask questions, to be able to uh, take your time and ask for clarification. They took you through how to manage the catheter, when it would be taken out. And they took us through every detail of what would happen throughout the process. A lot of cancer patients, it's the human contact they need, I think, the reassurance, and you get that. The movement is actually better than the human hand. The nurses okay. at the surgery school, you're going to be with them for a year, 18 months. And it's, it's nice to get to know them, because they'll be your, your point of contact. And they're there to help you. Because remember, you're in hospital for one night. So I need to make sure that actually you can function when you go home. It's always better to have different perspectives on things and sometimes other people ask the questions that you perhaps wouldn't have thought of at the time. In some ways um, a problem shared is a problem halved. So that muscle that you're squeezing to hold that wind in, I need you to find it for me. We also give them information on doing pelvic floor exercises, which is important when their catheter comes out to improve their continence. I had no idea what a pelvic floor was. They'll tell you about the exercises. You'll do them for months, and then all of a sudden it starts to get better, and it gets better, and it gets better. You just take the cap off. There's so much to take in about and how you have to wear the surgical stockings to prevent deep vein thrombosis, and about understanding some of the limitations are going to be. They know about what to eat after the operation, how much exercises they're expected to do. Every day, a little at a time. I need you moving. They might be little factors, but they're terribly important in the patient's recovery. It's new for all of us. I think to know what's going to happen, I think it was so important. The difference is immense for patients who have attended surgical school and patients who haven't. Patients are more informed, patients know what to expect. When they do go home, they know what's an emergency, what's not an emergency.